cardiac neurodevelopmental care is important because as children have survived these heart surgeries that long ago they did not think they would survive, the focus in cardiology has really shifted into not only helping these children to survive, but to thrive and to have the best quality of life that they can. We recognize that children with congenital heart disease are at higher risk for uh, different developmental challenges and so as part of a multidisciplinary group we decided to consolidate and streamline the services that we provide to that population with the goal of optimizing outcomes. So it's really a unique opportunity in this uh, community or in this region even to provide that breadth and depth of service. So we have great partners in cardiology, newborn medicine, therapy services, uh, dietary services, all of which we are able to bring together as part of one clinic in order to meet all of the needs of these children and help them to optimize their outcomes. The great thing here at Children's is that we also see these patients on an outpatient basis and it's the same therapist and nurse practitioners that would see these children inpatient. Even so, sometimes it's the same neurologist that's, and cardiologist that see them as well. So they've seen them from the moment they were born and can continue to follow them throughout the rest of their lifetime. When we have different tests, whether that's imaging or the EEG studies, we'll sit down and actually show them the pictures of an MRI scan and say these are the areas that we're really encouraged by in terms of how your son or daughter's brain has grown and developed, or these might be areas that we want to pay closer attention to over the course of time. So it's really part of our mission is to communicate and explain uh, how we are involved in the care and how we're helping and why we're thinking uh, about different things and why we're making the specific recommendations that we are. We are not just there to make sure their child gets through their surgery, but to make sure that their child and their family has the best quality of life possible. Getting to know families, providing consistent care, getting to know children, learning what we need to do to help optimize their outcomes by meeting all of their needs. And those needs are going to change and evolve and we want to make sure that what we're doing now takes that long term or big picture into perspective.